Hi there, and welcome to this guide on how to apply materials to your scene with V-Ray for Cinema 4D. This video joins others in a series on setting up V-Ray for Cinema 4D and using its lighting settings. Before we start, let's run an interactive rendering. Let's create a V-Ray material from scratch. We can do so by choosing a material from the V-Ray menu. If you wish to work with the node editor, you should choose one of the materials in the V-Ray node materials menu. We can easily modify the material by setting its diffuse color, amount of reflection, and glossiness. Since I want to create glass, I will also adjust the refraction of the material. Now that we know how to work with classic materials, let's go ahead and create a V-Ray node material. Double-click on the Materials thumbnail to open Cinema 4D's Node Editor. We have access to all available nodes from the Create menu, and we can use the built-in search functionality to find the node that we need quickly and easily. Additionally, we could simply drag and drop the bitmap images we would like to use and that's how we can start using V-Ray node materials in our scene. A great source for ready-to-use materials is Chaos Cosmos, which has an extensive library of categories and various shaders. To use them, just click the Download icon, then click Import. They will appear in the Material Manager. Cosmos materials come already set up and ready to be applied. However, you can customize them to better fit your scene. Just like any other material, in a few easy steps, you can edit them and change their appearance to your liking. You can always go back and adjust the look, scale, or alignment of the material. Now that we know the basics, we can shade almost anything quickly and easily. I hope you found this video helpful. Now you should understand how to make the most of material workflows in V-Ray for Cinema 4D. Want to learn more about V-Ray for Cinema 4D? Check out our other videos on setting it up and using its lighting features. <laughs>